hello, how are you doing? Okay, we are back with our exercises that we can do whilst the kettle's boiling or while we're cooking dinner. So here goes. So up to your counter side, holding on to your counter side. I'm gonna pretend mine's just in front. So we've got balance there, or you could have it to the side. Feet hip distance apart. From there, lift both heels and then lower with control back down. Lift both heels and then lower. So once you become more confident with this, you might be able to have your tip of the finger to the side or you might just release the hand fully. So you're lifting and then you're lowering. Uh, lifting and lowering. Stomach's drawn in, you're not rocking forward or back. Crown of the head is an extension of the spine, so lovely alignment there. Now, if you're struggling at all, just don't lift up so high. Working the muscles at the back of the legs. Calves are really beginning to activate. Strengthening through your ankles. Lifting and lowering and lifting and lowering and giving a shake out. So let's try another set of those. So as you become more confident as well, maybe you can bring the feet a little closer together, lifting and lowering. Let's have one of my students say to me, oh, I tripped the other day, I fell over and I hurt my elbow and I hurt my arm and I thought, my leg, sorry. And I thought, what on earth have I done? I've really injured myself and she said, but because of regularly practicing yoga and Pilates, she finds that her muscles are more relaxed. So instead of perhaps breaking herself, she was still okay. And actually she still managed to do a class the next day, which I think was quite amazing. And last one, and release and giving a shake out. And I feel the same as well. I seem to injure myself all the time. <laughs> I just think I've got a bit of bad luck or I'm just very clumsy. But I do find that with regular yoga and Pilates practice, my body is a lot stronger and I repair a lot quicker than I would have before. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you're going to do this for another week, a week of doing this. Every time the kettle boils, every time you're cooking a dinner, can you do it? Yes, you can. Put a reminder by your kettle, a little post-it note what exercise you're gonna do, maybe do a screenshot of this and print it out, or do a little stick figure of what you're gonna do, or just write hill lives. You can do it, let me know if you're gonna take part. Thank you, bye bye.